Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this video on logic. Now we're beginning a new locus. The next several videos will be used to master fallacies. A fallacy is an error in an argument. Any argument that contains a fallacy is a bad argument. Likewise, any bad argument is bad because it contains a fallacy or it has a false premise. Now we've already covered a little on fallacies in the past videos. And if you've already watched those videos, then you will know that there are two types of fallacies, and that is formal and informal fallacies. Now, a formal fallacy is an error in the form of the argument. Here's an example. Now, the argument has this form. It should have this form. This form is correct. Notice that you don't have to know what a dog is. To detect a fallacy, you can just look at the form. Now, an informal fallacy is different. It must be detected by examining the information in the argument. So here's an example. Now, notice you actually have to know information about mice in order to see the fallacy. Even a large mouse is a small animal. Now, let's get some experience detecting formal and informal fallacies. But remember, Formal fallacies only occur in deductive argument forms such as hypothetical syllogisms, etc. The rule of the game is this. I'll ask a question, you press pause to try to answer the question, and then press play again to see if you're correct. Alright, practice problem number one. What type of fallacy is contained in this argument? Press pause because the answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. Ding! This is a formal fallacy. It's a kind of hypothetical syllogism. It has this form. Now, if the second premise is switched with the conclusion, it would be valid. Next practice problem. What type of fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer is in 3, 2, 1. Ding! This is an informal fallacy. Now, to detect this fallacy, we must know some information about the content of the argument. Mechanics are not doctors. Next practice problem. What type of fallacy is in this argument? Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! This is a formal fallacy. The form is a categorical syllogism. If the word some were changed to all, then it would be valid. Next practice problem. What type of fallacy is in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. Ding! This is an informal fallacy. To detect the fallacy, we must know information about the content. We must know vegetarians and meat eaters are generally equally divided. Also, English classes, they have many students. So in this video, we refreshed, we refreshed our minds of fallacies in general. We identified formal and informal fallacies. In the next video, it will be informal fallacies of relevance. Post your comments and questions, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.